Okay, so we're going to show you how to do some cuttings of sage. So that yeah. if you've got um, a friend who's growing sage, you can get some cuttings off them. Yep. Or you might even be able to get some sage from your supermarket if it's fresh enough, probably from your, like your, your green grocer. Uh, might have fresh sage there that you can get some cuttings mm, off that. True. And you can freshen it up with water. Yep. So we've got some from our garden here. I can already smell it just from from oh no, holding it's it. beautiful beautiful yep. all right so while we're doing that you fill the tray up with yep. the um, seed and cutting mix which oh, is I a will. Devco one great soil now what we need to do bring the camera in closer is that this is uh, our cutting we've taken off the sage plants here and we're going to take off these side leaves I'm going to use the scissors to do this this is uh, the kitchen herb scissors great for this type of work so we're going to take all these shoots off the side now the reason we're doing this is because the plant has no roots and so we want to give it a break by taking off most of the leaves so it doesn't have to feed all these leaves here and we'll just leave these top two here and that's going to be our cutting like that. Now if you've only freshly cut it from the plant like we have um, then it's fine but if it's uh, been out of the ground for a while or away from the main plant for a while you need to do a fresh cut. We always do the cuts on an angle like this. Now I'll give you another little tip here. These are called nodes here, and this is where the leaves are attached to each of the branch or the main stem here. And this is where the roots are actually gonna grow from these nodes. So you wanna be gentle with these and not break those off because they've got the potential to grow the roots and you do a cut um, about a centimeter below the nearest node. So that one's ready to go. All right, so we're gonna be using some of the root text, which is a... It's a rooting hormone, yeah. yeah. So you could just put the cuttings into the soil and some of them will strike, yeah. uh, but Gives professional success, nurseries, right? the way they do it is they put into a rooting hormone like this. Yep. So this is uh, Rutex, Rutex down here. Yep. And you can get that from the Aussie Gardener store. And then I'm just popping little holes with sticks so that we can push the cutting in. Put our cutting in. I'm gonna cut our, make our cutting a little bit shorter as well because uh, yeah. we haven't got a huge amount of soil uh, in this tray. So I'm just going to take these off the side here because that bit's going to be going into soil. Mm. If you want to dip that in. Yep. Now best practice would be to tip some of this into a separate container and then dip it into that just so you're not contaminating your rutex and getting dirt and things in there each time. And then you just gently push it around, not, not too firmly. And that's it. So I'm going to do a couple of those. So we're just going to trim off those again. And we'll go up to the top. And this is a great way to get free plants, isn't it? It is. And also and to, me to meet your neighbours as well. Because <laughs> if you've got some neighbours that uh, yeah. have some we sage growing. We share your growing, plants. So if you've got something, they can take cuttings from something that you've got. Or you could to. even do some cuttings for them. And um, at the same time. So make sure you dip it in deep enough so that we've got a couple of nodes that are getting wet with the liquid here. Yeah. You can see it's all stick to it. The gel's good because it sticks to the plant rather than rubbing off when you put it in the soil. So we'll put that in there, just gently in, and then pat the soil around it there. Now we could do a whole tray of those, and generally when you're doing cuttings, most of them will strike, but you might get some failures there. Yeah. So always do more than what you yes. need. Yes, always do much more because, yeah. And, and then, then what we would do next is give this a water. We, uh, we haven't got the watering here with us at the moment, but we give this a nice gentle watering and then we cover it over with the propagator lid like this. Yep. And that will go in probably a spot with some morning sunshine, just a nice warm spot, nothing too hot though. No. Uh, otherwise you'll cook them. And then check on them in about two weeks time and what you, the way you check on them, I'll tell you, is that you get the tray and you lift it up and underneath here, you'll actually start to see roots coming out the bottom holes in the bottom of the tray. Uh, and that's how you know that they're rooted there. So rather than pulling on them, which kind of can damage them, look to see if there's any roots coming out the base there. And then make sure you're also keeping an eye on the water because you want it to be moist, but not drenched yeah, and not dry. Right. So don't be watering it every day. No. Maybe just give it a light mist with a, a, a little spray. misting pack, spray yep. pack. Um, but just to keep the soil nice and damp yep. and then that's as hard as it is <laughs> and so give it a go that's sage the easy way to do cuttings but of course you can do cuttings for lots of different plants yep. um, but let's start with sage and get it growing in your garden